Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. I'm making this video to uh, help you out with number 19 in your homework here about this object with this 350 Newton force applied uh, to it. And we're going to do uh, try to find the acceleration of this object with the given frictional coefficients. Now, a couple things to realize about this. Conceivably, the acceleration could be zero. Uh, the maximum possible frictional force might be large enough to keep this thing static. So here's how you tell. All right. The maximum possible frictional force is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. So you'll have to decide which of these is the static frictional coefficient, and I'm not going to tell you that. And you also need to know the normal force. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a complete free body of this object done. You need to add a normal force, the gravitational force, and a frictional force, all in their correct directions, and with their lines of action correct as well. Once you get your free body done, if you find the sum of all forces in the y direction, that has to equal zero. Now the reason why this object weighs 500 newtons. This force is only 350 newtons. There is no way that force is going to lift that object off the ground and start accelerating it up. So the y direction definitely has an acceleration of zero. So write out that force equation, get the normal force. All right, take that normal force, you can now calculate the maximum possible frictional force. Now. If we look at that 350 newtons and you think about it in component form, it has an x component and a y component. The x component here is the one basically that's trying to accelerate that box. If the maximum frictional force is larger than this, then you know that that box isn't going to go anywhere. The acceleration is zero and you're done with the problem. If this is larger than the maximum frictional force, then you know the box is going to start accelerating. Now, once you know that, however, you also know that the frictional force, right, it's a sliding situation. So you're now going to use the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal. And there's no reason to believe the normal has changed. So now you can actually calculate a numerical value for the frictional force. Then you can write out a force equation, sum of all forces equals ma, and I would do left positive. That's my standard rule of thumb. Remember, Captain Rod's rules of thumb. Identify the acceleration direction, call that positive. And you should be able to quite easily write out a force equation to find the acceleration. So that should be enough. That should get you through that problem. Um, I hope that that helps. Have a great day.